a slip up in surveillance. If this one guy from the States didn't find it, like, you know, it could have escalated to something crazy. After an FBI tip foils an alleged plot to attack a Toronto school, we look into whether officials on this side of the border miss the warning signs. We have 250,000 students in our system. We cannot monitor every single keystroke. Just like the fact that it was supposed to happen a day before it actually happened and like not knowing about it until after the fact was kind of we on edge of it, so. Nah, it's scary being a student here and all, knowing that it could have been us any day. It could have been us, like, planning all that. Like, I don't know. Personally, I'm still trying to catch up with my thoughts about all that, but, yeah, it's scary, for real. Yeah, disturbed students here at Oakwood Collegiate today after learning that one of their own planned a violent attack on the anniversary of the Montreal massacre. And we're learning today the school has put together resources for students who are responding to the incident in different manners. I'm explaining to them uh, the, sort of the, the situation in terms of what was reported, um, letting them know uh, that, uh, again, as I said, that there are supports here for them uh, if needed, because it, it, for them it, it takes you know, uh, some time to be able to digest and process. And for each individual, they process things differently, it can impact them differently, and that's why we have the supports here. The 17-year-old has been released on bail under strict conditions. He's been charged with uttering threats of bodily harm and uttering threats of death. A source tells City News the teen was taken to hospital after being released. Police and the board are not confirming the student went to Oakwood. After the arrest, police did discover a disturbing arsenal of weapons, including swords, a hatchet, knives and arrows. Mayor John Tory today responding to the arrest. I hope people will be reassured by the good work done by our police service uh, and I thank goodness that uh, you know people are watching all of the security people are watching the internet for things like this other than that I would just say that uh, you know that this is before the courts now and it'll be dealt with in that manner uh, but I, I think it should be one more reason why people uh, should be grateful to the fact we have excellent police with excellent intelligence uh, that they get from all over the place. As we first told you last night, a source close to City News says the FBI tipped off police here after being notified of a disturbing online threat that referenced the Montreal massacre and the fact the attack would take place on the anniversary. Now, one of the questions we have tonight are about that online threat. Police confirm that the post was written and posted on a TDSB computer ahead on City News. We're going to press the TDSB about if they have any cybersecurity protocols in place whatsoever. We're live outside of Oakwood Collegiate, where tonight City News is learning more about a teenage suspect who was arrested this week after posting a threatening online message promising a Montreal-style massacre. Now, we want to warn you, we are going to be sharing some of the details about his online post, and they are tough to hear. He always seemed like a little bit off, and he got bullied quite often. Uh, so I guess we're kind of just thankful that it didn't happen, because... Uh, like when he says that he has knives or whatever, uh, you're tempted to like believe him. The teen can't be named under the Youth Criminal Justice Act, though we just turned 18 today. On a blog post written on a TDSB computer, the suspect allegedly wrote, I'll show people in my school what terror really looks like. Terror is a white male walking into a school with a machete and a hatchet, running through the place and hacking people up. The post continues, then the school resource officers will gun me down and that'll be the end of it. What's the mood like in the school today? We're all kind of, we don't know really how to act because on one sense, like we're glad it didn't happen, but on the other sense, like everyone's thinking like, you know, what if it happened? Like, would we be here today? Personally, I'm still trying to catch up with my thoughts about all that, but yeah, it's scary for real. A search warrant was executed at the suspect's home early Tuesday. Police say they seized a machete, a hatchet, two swords, four knives and arrows, some of which were listed in the online manifesto. Students who have been in the same class as the suspect say the teen has his own views on the world. He just seemed, he seemed like an okay guy. He wasn't particularly nice, he wasn't particularly rude. It just seemed um, he had his thoughts on things that he was sort of set in stone about and that's just the way it was for him. Just, he had his thoughts and if other people thought different, well, then that was their problem. 
Now, the school board in Oakwood's principal says proper safety measures are in place for students. There's about 26 security cameras all around the school. There's two Toronto Police resource officers, and the school's doors are locked during school hours. Now, anyone or any students, rather, who are having issues with the incident are being offered up counselors to speak with. Students tonight here at Oakwood Collegiate asking some serious questions and are also still coming to terms with the fact that a student who sat right beside them was arrested this week, allegedly with a whole cache of weapons after writing a threatening manifesto online. Now, some are asking how Toronto District or Toronto District School Board rather didn't catch on to what was taking place, considering that the post was uploaded on a TDSB computer. What do you say to those who say uh, the TDSB, uh, you know, missed the boat on this one, a comment, a threat was made on one of their computers and wasn't picked up? We have 250,000 students in our system. We cannot monitor every single keystroke that every single student across the board makes. The Toronto District School Board does not have any dedicated cybersecurity staff who look out for potential threats. The threat wasn't even detected in Canada. Someone in the U.S. West Coast noticed a disturbing online manifesto and called authorities. A source close to the case tells City News the FBI was alerted and that's what led to an arrest. It makes me think if this one guy from the States didn't find it, like, you know, it could have escalated to something crazy. There was a potential threat that was not captured. Uh, that means there's a gap in the way we filter or have a, a, a net to capture this type of activity. There's definitely a gap and something has to be done about it. Cybersecurity expert Daniel Tobuk says legislation permits only the highest level of federal government intelligence agencies to use filters and probe personal online messages. And at times, the focus isn't where it should be. He says this is how things slip through the cracks and could have deadly consequences. Unfortunately, we don't have the focus on it. Uh, when you're looking at the different school boards, even law enforcement, they don't sit around looking for what people are posting online. Usually the only time they'll take any type of actions when somebody complains or points to a website and then has to go through different levels and escalations before actually somebody physically investigates it. A suspect who turned 18 today has been released under strict bail conditions. He's been charged with uttering threats of bodily harm and uttering threats of death. Students at Oakwood Collegiate are trying to piece together who would want to hurt them. A 17-year-old boy is charged with planning to attack the school on the anniversary of the Montreal massacre. Police seized an arsenal of weapons from his home that they say were to be used, a machete, swords, knives and arrows. Chris Glover is live tonight outside the school at Oakwood and St. Clair. And Chris, give us a sense of the mood with those students today. There's definitely a sense of relief uh, as that alleged plan was stopped. A boy has been charged with uttering threats of uh, harm and uttering death threats as well. And uh, many of the students here say that even though his identity won't be released, they think they know who the suspect is. Officials say two police officers are routinely at this Toronto school, but today is far from routine. I could see why people are worried because it could have been a really bad attack. Students are on edge after learning alleged plans to attack their school were stopped by police. I was actually pretty shocked. Like I thought they would have told us like not to come to school today. Police say a closed access blog posted December 1st was spotted on the U.S. West Coast. It was just a, a random citizen who contacted the Toronto police. Using the tip from that random American, the school board IT security unit helped police track down the computer and the user. In the post, he made reference to the Montreal massacre when a gunman killed 14 women on December 6th, 1989. The anniversary was Tuesday. Based on the, the contents of the threat, we felt that uh, we needed to act quickly. Tuesday at 4 a.m., a 17-year-old Toronto boy was arrested in his bed, along with an arsenal of weapons, including a machete and two swords. Police say they seized his computer. We believe that he acted alone. We're still investigating to see if there's anybody else involved, but we don't believe there's any danger to the school. The accused is a high school student. Police won't say if he goes to the school he allegedly threatened. I'm really surprised, especially at Oakwood. Oakwood is such 
like a peaceful school. This is it. Some students allege a manifesto written by the suspect is being circulated. They believe he does attend the school and he may have been bullied. He was always acting like a little bit funny and like the blog said something about a trench coat and then you know that kind of made everyone know who it was. To calm students down, the principal spent the morning going to every class. I wanted to make sure that they hear from me as a principal, he really as, as their dad, like that is who I am. It kind of makes it less scary because we know that like he's not allowed back in the school. The suspect was released to his family and some kids say they are being vigilant tonight. The suspect is underage, so his identity will not be released. He did appear in court on Tuesday, and he was released on bail. Uh, he was released into the custody of his parents, Dwight, and police say that uh, he is under strict conditions tonight. Well, Chris, we know the Montreal massacre targeted women. Do we know the target in this particular case? Police say there was no specific mention of gender in that post that they read, and they said that they were trying to speak to the suspect to get a sense of motive and to find out what was going on here in this alleged plot, and they say that the suspect has not been cooperative. All right, Chris, thank you for that. Um, I don't feel bummied, but like that type bummied. of stuff you don't play with. It's not, it's not a good thing that we found out kind of last minute, but it's all right. Everyone knows who it is just by like process of elimination. So it kind of makes it less scary because we know that like he's not allowed back in the school. Like a parent in a, in a school, the kids in the building matter. They are my, my, my students, they are. I want to make sure that they feel safe. It's what students at Oakwood Collegiate Institute have been talking about all day, an attack planned at their school for Tuesday, foiled by police. A 17-year-old fellow student charged Students found out about it yesterday, and today the principal met with each class, telling them the school has a team of social workers, a psychologist, and other resources to help them. Police say the teen was planning an attack for Tuesday, the anniversary of the Montreal massacre. Merit Stiles is the TDSB trustee for Oakwood. She was at the school all afternoon and joins us here. Now, Merit, thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Describe what the mood at the school was like today. Well, I think there's a, to be fair, I mean, a lot of nervousness, um, lots of questions, uh, staff are very busy, um, lots of meetings taking place, like you mentioned, with the principal and the students, lots of questions, but also I think a great relief as well that uh, what, what could have been a, not a great situation was averted. What is the school offering and the TDSB in way of counseling mm -hmm. for these kids now? Well, when the students arrived this morning, there were five counselors there, so it's some social workers, like, psychologists, etc. And they've been going around class to class as well. And I think what the principal and the staff have been doing is trying to make contact with every student, mm -hmm. uh, make sure you're doing okay, have any questions, we're here for you. And I think that's, you know, it, a school is like a family. And sometimes you have to reach out and tap them on the shoulder and make sure everything is okay. You mentioned questions. What kind of questions are the students asking? Mm -hmm. I was in a couple of meetings where the students were present and with the principal and the counselors. Uh, they're asking, um, you know, are we safe? Um, what's going to happen next? And uh, of course, they, they are also having a hard time understanding why certain information is very private, since as the students in the clip noted, yes. that many of them know uh, a lot more than, than perhaps is being released publicly. But we've been explaining to them that this is because there's a police investigation investigation underway and the police have to keep certain information very private and because also the person in question is a young offender. I mean you are a trustee in this board. What was your reaction when you heard this news? Well I'm a parent uh, as well of a, of a student in a high school, not that high school. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know Oakwood really well so for me it, it feels like a very small uh, family that's going to be a little bit disturbed right now. Um, I was shocked, as I think everybody was, um, and I was concerned. Uh, you know, it's it's very disconcerting to hear this kind of thing may have happened, but I was also, I have to say, um, as soon as we knew that the person had been apprehended, hugely relieved, uh, because I think what could have been a very bad situation, uh, thankfully, everybody's safe and secure today. Merit Stiles, trustee for the TDSB, we appreciate your time today. My pleasure. Police reassuring students following a violent threat. I was a little bit distraught yesterday. What classmates are revealing about an accused 17-year-old boy. An online threat against this Toronto school was posted from a computer inside, written by a student who went to class with the same students police say he threatened to kill. 
Good evening. That student is out on bail tonight. And we are learning more about the threat and the arsenal of weapons seized in the investigation. CTV's Natalie Johnson is live at Oakwood Collegiate. Natalie, first of all, what is the school doing about security? Michelle, officials say this school... By the time Oakwood Collegiate students left school today, they had all been briefed by their principal about the alleged threat against them and the arrest of a 17-year-old classmate. It's kind of scary at first, and I don't think it's his right in the head. He's weird, like he's antisocial, like, you know, he's awkward. The 17-year-old suspect cannot be publicly identified because of his age, but Oakwood students say he did attend their school. Police allege that he was planning on carrying out an attack on the school to coincide with the anniversary of the École Polytechnique Montreal massacre. They had been alerted to the threat by an American who spotted a blog of his online. They then traced the source to a TDSV computer and its user. It makes me think if this one guy from the States didn't find it, like, you know, he could have escalated to something crazy. Obviously it's disturbing, um, but I think the good news part of this is that they were able to, somebody was able to identify the issue, they were able to trace it back to where it started. Police sources say that the suspect made open threats online of going to the school with a machete and a hatchet and attacking other students. Officers then executed a search warrant at his home and they seized a machete and a hatchet along with other weapons. When he says that he has knives or whatever, uh, you're tempted to like believe him because of just how he acts and who he is. Police officers were on site at the school today along with social workers. The message is that, you know, we, we're here to support the students and, and, and our kids, they are, they're the ones that really matter. Many of whom remained rattled today. Oh, you never think someone will try to attack our school out of all of them. Mom's pretty shocked about it. She's, she's overwhelmed. Like, she didn't, she didn't want me to come to school. Their classmate has been released on bail under the supervision of relatives and police. Updating tonight's top stories, we're learning more about the TDSB student who allegedly planned an attack against Oakwood Collegiate. The 17-year-old cannot be identified, but he's facing a number of charges, including uttering threats of death. Students at Oakwood Collegiate say he is a fellow classmate. When he says that he has knives or whatever, uh, you're tempted to like believe him because of just how he acts and who he is. He's weird. Like he's antisocial. Like you know, he's awkward. I don't think it's is right in the head. Police seized a number of weapons from the suspect's home on Tuesday. He has been released on bail under the supervision of family and police.